What's up guys, I'm Deathifernox Gaming and welcome back to my channel and here it is the Radiant Escalation we've all been waiting for and in this video I'm going to try out the new Melodic Convergence as well as the Radiant Escalation which I have already tried several times but I have no luck finding the Al Alira, the new behemoth that comes up with the Radiant Escalation so I'm just gonna try it out on this one, this is the first try my first time fighting this Alira right here so I might be playing it a bit bad because I don't know the movesets and anything else but let's try it out so after this one I'm going to do the Radiant Escalation then I'm going to show you the builds that I use on this Escalation and this battle right here so let's just start it as you can see I did a little bit warm up so I have already got my special and the pulse ready to start the battle with the upper hand kaboom there we go easy and just keep spinning because that's how we do it uh, Unfortunately, we don't have savagery here, so maybe spinning on the head is a bad choice. Let's switch to the arms or maybe something else to break the parts. I guess I'm joking. Well, well that's fine. It's almost dead anyways. Kaboom. Let's blink. Alright, let's make it quick. We'll just jump to the behemoth. There we go. Easy. Let's stack up our poles again. We got Karabat this time, so I guess it's pretty lucky. Karabat is an easy target. It has low HP and yep let's see our next battle is with uh all right it's Charo. Charo is still an easy target all right so let's try to aim for the head uh hello Charo. why are you spinning all right let's aim for the head kaboom uh is it wounded or oh, it's wounded well let's just keep standing it all right keep spinning because that's our source of damage this build here is without the catalyst. I'm going to show you the build later after this fight with the Charok. I mean after the fight on this game event before the Radiant Escalation which I will continue after this one. Alright let's keep spinning it while it's down. Pretty easy battle I will say. And since there is no, no, no more Chronovore in this Paradox Bridge I guess it's gonna get pretty hard to farm for the parts since you need to do escalation for it but yeah i guess that's fine it's for the best all right so here comes the new behemoth alira i wonder if i can kill it real fast but i will try that for 19 whoa it, it looks like a monster that i know from a game that i used to play but yeah whoa that attack misses ow all right so that's how it works Alright, it can spin. Okay, that's kind of funny. It looks like a Brave Stalker, but it's a Griffin. Oops, so it spins its tail right that. Pretty slow spin. Alright, so it moves back like that, okay. I guess this is pretty easy. But the slapping never hits. Oh, I thought it's gonna explode right away. So it, there is a little bit delay before it explodes. Alright, this slow tail spin is actually pretty stupid I guess but yeah I guess that's fine. Alright let's keep getting it. I wonder what those colors on the floor are but I will not take my chance to step on it. Could be a trap or, any, or maybe worse. Alright pretty easy. What it's gonna do now? What's this? Huh? Oh this also just like the light on Koshai but it's gonna chase you all around. Oh, it's gonna trap you too. Well, thankfully I have the Koshai and yep, it's that pretty easy, huh? And that's the new behemoth and that's the first try. I don't think it's pretty, it's, it's not that hard. But yeah, it's kind of annoying to be honest because it has these movesets that is unpredictable. Just like the Thunder Deep Dross, uh, that's the core and anything else, yep. Alright, so let's continue this battle on to our Radiant Escalation in the next video. Let's continue. So here is the build that I used on this island event just now. And here there is no catalyst because I doubt that the pillars in the Paradox Bridge are going to spawn in the middle of the island event because those pillars are annoying. Sometimes they stop your stagger damage, sometimes they stop your wounding damage and that's actually very bad. Especially when you're using this build because the source, the biggest source of attack speed there from this build here is from Relentless which can give you 30% attack speed bonus. You might also get attack speed from Assassin's Frenzy and Bolton but Relentless give you 30% in one go. 
so not being able to wound the behemoth might be very catastrophic that is why I need to bring Assassin's Frenzy and Molten but there is another build that I'm going to use in the Radiant Escalation later because pillars are going to spawn there so we're going to go through the per somebody first berserker for your damage overpower because why not you're going to stab the behemoth on the face it's gonna wound them and then when you spin it's gonna get staggered and that's easy overpower activating cunning pulse for your critical as well as discipline relentless for attack damage attack speed movement speed and stamina regeneration assassin's frenzy because of the bond and molten here just for the sake of extra attack speed when you don't have the wounding all right so here is the build the shroud helmets with berserker the time wave with berserker the time wave again with relentless and the chrono vol with pulse and here is koshai's bloom with molten and here's the weapon, the Apocalypse Needle with Cunning and Relentless, Reckless Slip, Munitus Amplifier, and here's the Bone Stalker Spike from Bridge Stalker, which gives you a plus 3 Assassin's Frenzy. And here is the build that I'm going to use in the Radiant Escalation, because you are going to be... No, I mean, the pillars are going to spawn in the Radiant Escalation, so you might be losing your Relentless. So, Losing this relentless might be catastrophic as I said, so I bring catalyst with me so that I can get attack speed bonus whenever I consume the tonic, so I get lots of attack speed. I know this is kind of the overkill because relentless gives you 30, the catalyst gives you 27.5 and SSS Frenzy gives you 15%, but that is fine. Catalyst is good. And since we can we sometimes cannot use relentless, yeah, catalyst is a must to bring in this escalation right here. Cunning Pulse and Discipline for your Critical Predator for Astro Damage and Berserker as well, okay? So that's a perk summary, here's a build, Time Waste with Relentless, Thrux with Pulse, Malkarion with Relentless, Time Wave with Berserker. I'm using Koshai's Bloom because this might save your life because Koshai's Bloom can dash out of the Radiant Barrier that is blocking you, okay? Koshai's Bloom might be your safeguard, Catalyst, and another safeguard is the Apocalypse Needle which can teleport you out of the radium prism but for some reason the legendary ability cannot be used while you're under the radium prism right there so yeah Kosha is your only safeguard with just fitting cunning and pulse reckless slip you need to the same and here's warpite from Bristol as well all right so let's continue this battle on the radiant escalation all right so here we are in the radiant escalation very menacing but it actually looks very cool so yep I'm going to use the build that I have mentioned just now the one with the catalyst because we might be facing pillars with the effects of stopping wounding damage our first battle here is with the flamboyant queen shot guess it should be pretty easy and as i have said earlier i have tried the radiant escalation but no luck with alira so my escalation level is kind of level 10 or maybe something like that Let's get the wounded in, there we go. Why should we get the wounded in? Because the wounded can give you Aether Rush and Aether Rush gives you 30% attack damage apart from attack speed. Okay, let's just jump and keep spinning. Easy, should be that soon. Yep, there we go. With lower escalation level, lower escalation level means you're going to deal less damage and take more damage. Okay, so let's see what we get here. I hope I'm getting lucky this time. All right, so that's the new, what, could, what do you call that? The perk that you get from Escalation. So you plant your banner, you're going to get buffs like damage reduction, attack speed boost, and attack damage boost. And that's actually pretty cool. All right, so one thing, first impression that I hit from this Escalation right here is for this first to second battle, it takes a horrendously long route to get to the second battle but I guess it's fine all right so it's Karabat and Strike I guess I'll do Karabat first because it has lower HP let's jumpy it's spin around I wanted to hit the head but I guess it's fine all right let's go the body is going to block the strikes attack but not this one all right so let's evade through this one that one too all right let's see what the strike is doing while spinning up is that all right so our special is stacked our pulse is, I mean, our pulse is stacked and specialist. Oh no. Alright, let's just dash in. We still have our Aether Rush effect, so we are we don't really need to. Oops. We don't really need to wound this guy. 
So we just keep spinning it. That's half HP. Easy. Oh! Okay, that was close. Boom. Ouch. Alright, I don't think it's gonna fly. Is it gonna fly? It's not gonna fly. Alright. Let's just use our legendary ability because why not? Would be a waste if we don't use it because it just refreshes nest. Alright, that's the pulse on max stacks and the special limb. 6% danger meter, I don't think it's that high. Yep, it's pretty easy. Let's see what we get this time. Yep, that one is better. The Umber Foam will give you 15% extra damage. So that's pretty good. Our next battle is with Tempest Bone Storm Claw. And Unbreakable Suppression, so we cannot break parts. Luckily, we can still do wounding damage. And as you can see, there are guns everywhere in this place. You can actually use them. And they actually deal decent damage, but I guess basic attacks still work better than the guns. That's wounded. Let's break the head. Come on. Oh, there we go. Let's keep spinning on the head. Should be pretty easy to kill now. It's gonna get angry. Alright. It's dashing out. I'm just gonna step. Boom. Alright, I'm not gonna get hit by that. I'm not gonna get hit by that too. Let me go away. Let me go. Alright. Let's step. Boom. Easy. Alright, let's stack up our pulse again as usual. As you can see, you can actually press and hold those guns. Those guns are actually pretty cool. It's going to deal radiant explosions on the ground and it's going to deal like 700 damage. Earth Shaker. Well, I guess that's fine. Although I don't really use it, it's kind of cool because you're gonna do radiant explosions when you land. Every, like you know, As you can see, yep, that's the radiant explosion. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We're gonna go for the Ember Moon first because it's annoying. There we go. Alright, we're gonna stabby. Bloodless suppression. And the thing just got brought down by the Rezakiri, so I think I'm going to thank Rezakiri for that one. But I don't know the side effect of breaking the bloodless suppression. Ouch. Stop, Rezakiri. Ow. Nah, thanks. Thanks to that, I'm dead once. Alright, so we're going to bully Rezakiri after this Emberman. I'm so done. Alright, let's hide behind the Rezakiri. I mean, the uh, Emberman. I cannot hide from that one. I'm gonna evade. Okay, easy. Keep spinning. It's gonna die soon. There we go. Pretty easy, huh? Alright, so it's now it's the time to bully Rezakiri. Come on. Alright, that's the moveset it's going to use. Let's dash to activate our Umbro form and kaboom! Easy, 11k. Let's keep spinning. Break one part. The arms, of course. Come on. Come on, break one part. There we go. And then we go for the stagger. Oh no, where am I spinning? Let's go for the stagger. It's gonna get staggered soon. Alright, then let's break another part. And let's break yet another part so that it stays down. Uh, I guess it's that. Oh. Pretty easy. Alright, pulse and special as always. Oh, uh, where is it? There we go. Next battle is the Chrono Vault. So you cannot you can no longer fight Chrono Vault in Paradox Breaks as I've said. So the farming would be slightly horrendous now, but I guess that's fine. I'll just take gold time, although I haven't upgraded that one because I haven't unlocked that one upgrade. And right here we have a lore that we can find and it's inside this sandfall on my left just now so I'm not gonna take it because it's going to take uh, so long for one video and here you can push yourself with the lifting blocks so you don't need to climb the thing all right so that's our chronovore our blitz tonic is not ready yet so yep that's on the form let's try to wound this guy kaboom oh no I missed this is going to be hard. If you through that one, because it's gonna hit you. Oh, that does not deal any damage, dude. Alright, 
I'm gonna take my catalyst because I don't have a task speed. This is what I said about bringing catalyst in the radiant escalation because yep, as you can see, you cannot pick up, you can only pick up molten orbs, you cannot break parts, and kaboom. That's still not wounding. Wow. All right, that's wounded. Okay, pretty easy. That's a fourth of HP. Ow. Let's fill our, I mean, get our thing. All right, that's the part break. It's the fourth HP left, so yeah. I kind of forget what the Chrono Force move set already. Give it through that one. Keep spinning it. All right, what move set is this? Is it the one kill, one hit kill attack? Oh, it's not. It's the slam. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. I guess that's fine. Because it's gonna die. Kaboom. Easy. And as you can see, this build still works very well. Easy escalation, I guess. Well, it did take pretty long, but yeah, it's a lower level, so I guess that's fine. And yep, that's all for the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free, and you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And take a look at what I get. Yep.